I would make you drink pee immediately if you yeah. were down. <laughs> if you were down? That's hilarious. You'd make me drink too much pee. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know if you're you, drinking peas in the green room to warm up. <laughs> you got to get your body used to the pee. <laughs> We have oh a bunch of God. different peas for you to try to and see. Then, and then you'd watch the episode and I'd still have cut out but all the But hold on. <laughs> I just wanted to drink my own pee. Why am I drinking other types of pee here? Oh, uh, well, it's will It's resistance we? training. Uh, <laughs> and we're, we're not filming any of this. <laughs> hey, relax, Will. Yeah. You wanted to be on the show. Listen, <laughs> pee is pee, my man. Come on. Take a swig. Can ring my bell. Ring my bell. There it is. Welcome, welcome, little mamas and gentiles alike. Welcome to another phenomenal episode of My Mama Told Me, the podcast where we dive deep into the pockets of black conspiracy theories. And we finally work to prove that Lauren Hill is always late to every place she goes, not because she doesn't respect her audience, but because she is in fact walking there. She's a champion for climate change. She's a real hero. Stop yelling at that lady for not being on time. Come on. It, <laughs> it takes time to save the planet. Come on. You love it, you got to invest. <laughs> You don't think Lauren Hill doesn't care about the planet? You're wrong. She loves the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the right. <laughs> she loves the tundras as she, well. She loves all climates, yeah. all, yeah, yeah, all yeah. landscapes. I'm Langston Kerman. I'm David Borey. And and we are in studio, a rare, this is a rare thing. We can all see each other. It's bright. Yeah, it's it's well lit. It is uh, well lit. Yeah, it's yeah. very well lit. Yeah. Maybe too well lit, I'd say. It's the Probably. Hot, hottest it's, it's ever going to be in yeah. about five minutes. I'm going to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but That's we, just a given. We yeah. are here in studio because we, we have a, a wonderful guest today. He He has blessed us. By by coming down and and it is worth noting he, we we don't often have white people on this show really never it's, it's, hardly yeah. this is an anomaly this is an okay. anomaly okay. but you demanded it you said I'm sick of this get, all black get, thing get you me. got going on just get me in the room please <laughs> just give me five minutes and if they if they don't like me I get it they can kick me out right but right. I just need five minutes of your guys time I feel like I feel like this could go great. <laughs> Yeah, or we could blow it. <laughs> we could really blow it. We could this, alienate our entire audience. <laughs> this this is gonna either bring people in Bye. or turn them away immediately. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but our guest today, he, he is he's he's a man who doesn't need an introduction. He's so funny, so talented. You know him from literally every favorite thing you've ever watched, and he also is the proprietor and owner of our of our podcast. Uh, company. The, the he's the he's the big boss in charge. We're so happy he's here. Please give it up for our guest, Mr. Will Farrell. You're the man now, dog. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's a good feeling. I know. But Lanks, so you, we sat down yeah. with Hans. That's right. You're one of our first meetings. Yeah. And what is it, four years later? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, this was in the and heart of built COVID. an empire. Sure. Yes. <laughs> so congrats to you guys. The Empire. Yes. I love you know yeah. what you know what that tells me is that you're not checking the numbers every week and and that's great. And I, I'd rather you did it. Because I like working. Yeah. You know? It's fun. <laughs> that's uh welcome to the world of podcasts. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We're so you excited don't have to check the numbers. We're so excited you're here. We gathered a bunch of our favorite conspiracy theories that we wanted to talk to okay. you about. But more yeah. importantly, I think the best way to kick off this conversation is to really ask you, where do you where do you stand in the world of conspiracy theories? Do, would you pride yourself as a conspiracy theorist? Where, how, how much of a believer are you? And also yeah. adding on to that. Yeah. Black people. <laughs> <laughs> where do you stand? <laughs> In general, <laughs> you know, you know what's interesting 
is I, so I want to ask you guys, I'm, I may come off like an a-hole here, but I have, I am never more flattered yeah. than when someone from the black community comes up to me and says, you're so funny or yeah. I love your stuff or, or you're so stupid yeah. or, or, but I, I get a lot of love, at least to my face. Yeah. And I'm all, I'm like, how? Why? Well, I, and I, 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 I will I mean, I, say, I think you are a, a beloved figure in the black community. And my wife and I were trying to analyze. She's like, because you do a good job of making fun of white people. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, that's good. Yeah. That I is. Do, Ricky I do, Bobby was big I do me. like to <laughs> send up arrogant, you know, yeah. uh, people who think they're too full of themselves. And I happen to be white. So sure. But. It, I'm, I'm always like, wow, thanks. Yeah. And, and, but I've only, you know, I did get hard with Kevin Hart and it's not like I've done an entire, ton of yeah, black yeah, stuff, yeah, right, man. right, right. No, I, I think black audiences as a standup and I, I can only really speak to it from a standup perspective, but black audiences are sometimes the toughest to get, yeah. but when they fuck with you, right. they fuck with you in a way that is hard to like untether. They right, are, they become right. permanent fans. So something you did in your journey assured enough black people that they were like, that dude's fucking awesome. Funny. And it, and it's because of how funny you are and talented, obviously, but something in that journey, they were like, I like this dude. And now, you know, my, my grandma is always going to be a fan of yours. That's so, yeah. My and, mom's excited about this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're probably my mom's so not. We talked yeah, about we that. Yeah, we talked about She's not clocking that you're here, but not, she would be no, impressed. No, your mom is going to take credit for me coming today. Exactly. The <laughs> you know, Langston, that was my idea. You know, all along, I, I was the one who told you to put white guys on the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of introduced you to Will Ferrell. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But can, uh, let's see. Conspire back to the yeah, original. Yeah, yeah. Am I pro? I'm, I don't know if I'm that conspiratorial. Sure. And yet there are moments where I'm like, hmm, mm. that, that seems like that could go. Yeah. 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 This yeah. way. Do you have, do you have one in particular that, that comes to mind where you go like, I, I wouldn't say I'm fully on board, but I certainly am willing to hear it out more than others. Here's one. <laughs> Here's one that I feel like kind of checks out. This is very, this is this is sports related. Yeah, that's fine. There's no size. Yeah, there's it no, doesn't have to be government. The, the, it, or anything. It, it, yeah, it's not. It's but I I once heard so. This one always was like. I think this checks out. Cal Ripken. Yeah. Who uh, senior? Cal Ripken Jr. Okay. Who played for the Baltimore Orioles and had the longest stretch. Uh, he broke Lou Gehrig's record of consecutive games playing yeah, yeah, baseball. Yeah. And for anyone who remembers or is a big baseball fan, there was a point in his streak and he was getting towards the end where the game was called due to the electricity going out in the Baltimore baseball stadium. Oh. And they had to call the game. There was a power outage and the story is that Cal Ripken came home to find Kevin Costner cheating. <laughs> oh, 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 no. His wife cheating with Kevin Costner. He, they had a fight. He hurt his hand. Whoa. He's like, I can't play tonight. They're like, okay, what about the streak? I know. The power's out. Cut the lights. Cut the lights. And then they had a couple off days, and it allowed him for the hand to heal up. And the streak continued. Whoa. Wow. Now, I believe that. Right? That That's one, not even hard. That one's yeah, That's maybe, crazy. Because you come home, dances with wolves, is dancing right. with, yeah, with, with your, your queen. Like, with your wolf. And <laughs> that's what you call your wife? <laughs> she doesn't like it, but that's what I call her. <laughs> She's used to it now. Agree to disagree. Yeah. yeah. You're a wolf to me. <laughs> when I see you, I picture a wolf, a female yeah. wolf. Um, <laughs> and here's where I blew it. I ran into Kevin Costner multiple times oh. at the Golden Globes this year, oh. and I forgot to ask him. Oh no! Did you get together with Cal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a weird way to launch into. 
Hey, hey how you doing? Hey, Kevin. By the way, <laughs> I mean, how good of friends are you? No, I, I don't know him at all. Oh, um, you can't. You can't yeah, start with yeah. extramarital. But you but know remember, what? I he, bet. He, was, he was a big, he was hanging around baseball. You know, right. he did yeah. Uh, yeah. All Field the, of Dreams. Field of Dreams that. and uh, Bull Durham. Yeah. He was always showing up like, Kevin Costner's taking batting practice today with yeah. the Detroit Lions or something like that. I think like you just got to ease into it. I mean, it. Detroit gotta, Tigers. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> Not the Lions. <laughs> you wouldn't, batting practice with the Detroit Lions would be a different thing. Yeah. I think, that, I think they'd the be Lions. happy he showed up at this point. The Lions yeah. <laughs> the Lions needed the help, probably. I, no, it's a, that's a sad story over there. I was going to say, if you don't know him, the way you do it is like, you know what I love? Having sex with <laughs> baseball players' wives. Right? Do you, you know, ever just do that? Do you know what I mean, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? You ever just have one come home, punch you in the face? Kevin, who's your favorite <laughs> wife to have sex with who also played ba- from a man who played baseball? Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer's wife. Funny you should ask, Will. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think wins that fight? It has to be Cal Ripken, right? There's no way yeah, that he I, doesn't win. Professional yeah, athlete. Yeah. Kevin Costner feels like, I feel like he would get, I don't want to fight Kevin Costner. He's no, a, he's a tall guy. Yeah, is he tall? tall? Is he tall? Yeah, he's about six three, and he yeah. and he he's a he, he's a he's a strong, strong but he, jawed man. But he's now. A, but he's an actor. Yeah, so that is true. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's no way he's uh, actually riding all those horses on on Yellowstone. You don't think so? That. No, no, no. Really? I think there. Oh. I think there are plenty of. Uh, the man stunt, doesn't stunt writers. He right. doesn't want to be there anymore. Is is my understanding? I don't think. Well, he's, he's done, right? Yeah, yeah he's exactly. not even okay. There's no yeah. way he's like committed yeah. to to genuine horseback <laughs> riding the entire time. Man, please let me. I had to try <laughs> to ride a horse for a movie and they got me with the stunt person. Yeah. And they're like, "Well, it's it's not it won't be it won't be hard. It'll just be an easy kind of trot up into the frame and right. and if you've ever been around a horse, they're enormous terrifying terrifying creatures. Yeah, creatures. I don't like yeah. It. They and, seem scared too. And like they scared seem enough. scared and they look at you through the side of their eye yeah. and they can sense fear. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I got on the horse r- road. I think it, they let me do two little circles and they're like, we're good. Uh, <laughs> we're going to need the stunt rider. That actually, like, I was that bad just <laughs> trotting in a little stable. Uh, Will, that actually looked like shit. We're yeah. going to need you to. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Strike it all. Strike it all. Strike it all. <laughs> I'm like, I talked to the director. I'm like, was it that bad? They're like, yeah, you, they said you looked incredibly uncomfortable. So, <laughs> So I get it. Yeah. If, that's, if that's, Kevin, yeah. That's good on you, man. <laughs> for even what? For, for trying? Uh, or, I, don't, I don't think, it's yeah. not great that we're just riding horses all the time. You're sensitive. <laughs> you were sensitive to the needs of the beast. Yeah. And I respect that. Thank you. Yeah, You're yeah, a kind you. soul. Yeah. That's <laughs> why I, that's why I don't ride horses. Sure, it's the kindness in you. It's that, the kindness that in my heart. You from riding the, the times horses. I have ridden horses, they're always giving me the, the horse named like, Old Ricky, sure, or <laughs> or, or Whistlers, <laughs> uh, Cinnamon. Like they're not giving me. Uh, let's put them on Striker. Yeah, or, like Smokestack yeah, Lightning. Smoke, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I I don't know that I've ever ridden a horse besides <laughs> the like pony rides. You know the ones that they like That's have a good chained track, up right? in a <laughs> just, in an abusive circle. And, and, yeah, and, yeah. And the track is well worn in the yeah. dirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. just putting one foot in front of the other. It's just clops of their feet yeah, in tears yeah, that yeah. we didn't know and, they could and cry. They're, and they're thinking, "How did I get here? What, what did I? What do? did I do? Well, they they <laughs> it's because there's a well, carny in the corner smoking a cigarette, making sure it doesn't mess." Up. <laughs> Drop that boy. <laughs> All right, with, that's with, five a, with a cattle prod. Yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Just the meanest people possible abusing tiny little horses. I mean, shout out to Carnies. They're good folk, though. <laughs> yeah, we don't shout them out enough. Yeah, I on know. The podcast. Nobody gives it to them. Is there, you know, I, I feel like not a lot of black Carnies out there. Brothers, yes. and or am we've I been wrong? trying to break that ceiling. You're not. You're not wrong. <laughs> That's one of the last frontiers. <laughs> that that was right? in one of Martin Luther King's I just, unknown I just speeches. Literally flashed to every carnival. <laughs> he never seen one. He never. I, I'm yeah. like, yeah. I want a black carny, just like it's a just dude with a do rag working a tilt a world. <laughs> super skinny, messed out, yeah. white guys. 
Yeah. Not man. a lot of female carnies. I don't either. think so. You know what the right? problem is? That's a safety thing. Black people yeah. don't black yeah. people don't smoke meth. We we right. we're more crack people and crack don't sell well for uh for, for maintaining the, the, horses the, and relationships. You know what I mean? I think I think meth is a more working <laughs> a working man's drug. I don't ah. See, here's where I bet okay. to differ. Okay. 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 I think that people are willing to do a lot for crack. I think it's just we haven't been introduced to carny dumb, and that's <laughs> what it is. The Universe Soul Circus, I bet, has some some black carnies. There's what is that you're saying? Universe what? Soul Circus. Y'all don't know about no. the Universe Soul uh-uh. Circus? No. Why do you keep doing it? Like well, that's yeah. how they say it on the radio. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> come on down. <laughs> hey, brother. The Universe Soul Circus. Guys, I don't know if you've heard the radio commercial, but you're nailing it. You're really you're both doing We're right it on pretty park? good. Really? <laughs> There's a real circus that that is black owned and black okay. managed right and i bet they have black carnies do you think they have their own term like they call themselves blarneys <laughs> i hope not <laughs> that would be bad <laughs> that would be tough i I, guess. <laughs> I hope you don't have to write that on a resume that feels irish <laughs> yeah. yeah that feels irish yeah <laughs> a blarney man yeah. we gotta get yeah. some more black carnies i know we gotta get more black carnies that's I'm glad we're talking about it now. Yeah. The, 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 when this Every, drops, yes. that, that will be the next thing people we're going to start working on. We're going to inspire a generation of <laughs> yeah. young boys. And for the record, if you are a black carny, reach out. Yeah, please. Send an email yes. with pics. Yep. Because yep. I want to see yeah. what you're wearing. Yeah. 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 Show us that bindle over uh, your shoulder. Uh, uh, let's let's see it all. Operating the twirl wheel. Well, I don't <laughs> yeah. even say the ride. <laughs> I want them. Ferris I bet, wheel. Tor- I soul you. wheel. <laughs> they, 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 they. Oh, they, they. I feel like if you let black people get a hoard, hold a corn dog production, I uh, think we could do some really great stuff in this space. I I think we should do some really innovative stuff. In I think space. they're going no to put grits on the outside and fry it. And that's gonna change the game for corn dogs. That completely. would be crazy. Yeah, that would be crazy. That's, it's because probably... why has it been so stagnant? Nothing's happened in corn dogs mm-hmm. since I don't know the twenty. When did e- corn dogs come around? That's a great question. That's a, that's a really good question. Yeah, if Olivia were in here, we, yeah, we'd would, force her to wow. do the research. But... Yeah, maybe maybe text us, Olivia. She can, she can <laughs> I feel like I want to look that up. Yeah. yeah, let's look it up. Let's find out when My, were corn dogs invented. I'm saying that's a depression food. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, reconstruction. I'm going a little reconstruction. Earlier. Yeah, okay. I think it's a little earlier. And um, also, who who takes that corn dogs? Is that is that an American thing? Uh, uh oh, wow, we're both wrong. 1930s is what I'm looking at. Okay, no, I, I it, it says the the proto, pronto pup vendors at the Minnesota State Fair claim. To have invented the corn dog in 1941. Okay. Wow. On June 16th, 1946, Cozy Dog Drive In in Springfield, Illinois, claims to have been the first to serve corn dogs on sticks. So people Wait. were just raw dogging corn dogs with their hands. At that first. sucks. That's awful. That's a trash <laughs> Without the stick, I hate it. I hate Could you imagine? You're just holding it like a. Ew. I don't. I can't. I don't. I don't know the last time I had a corn dog. Really? Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Don't be like yeah. that. No, don't you don't be like that. You don't want to go back to that. Trying yeah. to eat healthy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but every once a year, you can have I, me and my But friend, I, I don't even know if I've been anywhere that offers a corn dog. We got to get lately. you to the Black Carnival. Mm. Okay. Which I think is like an emo record. I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I guess you don't see them out and about like that. Yeah, they're not they're not as popular, I think, as they used to be back when the the Minnesota State Fair was was. I do remember it was a staple at school lunch. Yeah, mm-hmm. in elementary oh, yeah. school, at least once a week, it, there was corn dog. Yeah, yeah. corn dog was part dogs. of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. were you did, were you a fan? Were you happy when Corn Dog Day came around, or were you like this this fucking sucks? Uh, no, I was fairly happy. Yeah. Okay. I would I would a lot of mustard. Yeah. I'm a big mustard guy. Okay. Same. <laughs> Ketchup is for children. Exactly. And I don't I'll get say it. it. I'm not gonna <laughs> get hold it. my tongue for you. Right. I also feel like it's for white people. I do think I, that. I, I mm. tend to I tend to agree. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I tend to agree because it's, yeah. it's it's like sweet. There's no challenge to it. It's the it's easiest just, condiment. It's like entry level. And Ronald Reagan tried to make it a vegetable. So is that true? Yeah. Was that a thing he was that, pitching? That, that now maybe that's a conspiracy too. But Come I on. think in school lunches, he tried to get ketchup as a vegetable 
to be cheaper for to save money on the school lunch program. You know, Look, what? if you hate cops just because <laughs> they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. That was an accident. I meant to. I meant to do this. You that's called motherfucking bars, nigga. You know nothing about that. That's, I like both. That's more my speed. That is yes. <laughs> that's got Will Ferrell written all over it. <laughs> that. I, yeah, I will say there's something really nice about hearing that Ronald Reagan. Uh, I, I semi fact. he tried to push through that that ketchup would be a vet, considered a vegetable. We, we I mean, hear he was like so a corporate much. chill. He was probably in Heinz pocket. But we We're hear pro- so yeah, much maybe, about yeah. about Ronald Reagan doing bad things to the black community specifically. But it's nice to know that he did <laughs> he some bad things to white people too. Yeah, right. he was like, "No, nah, we're gonna no, make white yeah, people eat ketchup yeah, yeah. and call it vegetables." <laughs> you know what? I, that's that's a, nice. I like that. You know what? If we're talking sauce, sauce conspiracy, uh, right? I, yeah, yeah. When did ranch get put on? Uh, that's what I wonder a lot. Yeah, because there was a right. ranch push. If you remember, uh, it, I feel like ranch early was 90s. ranch was just an exotic salad dressing mm-hmm, for the longest mm-hmm, time. Mm-hmm. Or not exotic, but then it's, it's good. Though. But now it, you're right. There was no, a push at one point. They made it. A it's dip everywhere. Option yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Everything. When did that happen? Because you notice you intake like a lot of 70s, 80s media. So there's no ranch. Right, right, right. Sure. Nobody's talking about ranch. Yeah. And then I feel like whenever Hidden Valley dropped. Hidden Valley. That was big. What's oh, it, the, the, who's that actress? She was in MASH. She was the voice of Hidden Valley. Really? Oh, yeah. The blonde lady? Blonde lady. No. Hidden Valley Hot Ranch. Hot Lips. Hot Lips is Hidden Valley? H- Hidden Valley. Wow. In MASH, the movie, not the TV show. They made okay. a movie for MASH? It, that was it, big. You never saw MASH that? MASH was, no, never saw originally that. it was a movie. Oh, and, and then the it TV spun show off the spun into off. a TV show. Boy, I hope I'm right on that. <laughs> I think I think I am. Buddy, uh, we're not Whatever. right about most yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Max is yeah, not right a big. Yeah. Yeah. The just... amount of emails we get of people being like, you idiot. But yeah. she became a huge voiceover person. Like, she kind of yeah. retired. And then came back. And then, but Hidden Valley Ranch. That's awesome. That's an early, that is an early, uh, that, that in the herbal instances. I love that we're talking about sauces. Man. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. used to be a, a a sort of line of succession. It sounds like of of people moving from acting to sauces. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, like fucking Paul break, Newman. Break it open. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He turned break his whole open, career yeah. Yeah. into being a sauce man. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't yeah. die doing uh, an actor. He was a, he died being the the face of yeah. sauces. New, Newman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Newman. My, my age. My age. I I I had the lemonade before I saw the sting. Yeah. Okay. Way yeah. before. Huh. Way before. And then you connected the dots. Yeah. That That's was the guy day. from Sting. Wait a okay. second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. What, is this? <laughs> what is this guy? Swedish? How does he do so many things so well? <laughs> I'm telling you, the Swedes. He might man, be a Swede, though. He, he might be. The Swedes so. can do everything. <laughs> Swedes can do everything. <laughs> Uh, well, we we have some conspiracy theories. Okay, I think we've covered uh, certainly enough about sauces at this point. But yeah, feel free to, to come back to feel free to come back. back into it if it if it hits you that way. But we have some conspiracy. I was tra- by the way, I was so my family's from the South. My my mom and dad are from North Carolina, so I was trying to pick their. I was like, do you guys have things? Yeah, that you really stuck to. Nothing. <laughs> nothing earth wanna... shattering. No. <laughs> nothing earth shattering. Like nothing yeah. on the level of the baby piss it, it cures acne. I love that. I love that you're bringing that up. And, good. and I was like, Mom, you ever heard of that? She's like, What? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, She's but, like, it's adult. It, it's, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't cure acne. It just makes you feel good. But then <laughs> that that spun me off into <laughs> the drinking of urine. Mm, okay. Which you guys touched upon. Mm-hmm. Sure. Which I remember when I went and did Bear Grylls' survival show. Yes. So he started expanding it where he'd have... People, I believe people, I've seen your episode. Of no, yeah. uh, and so I'm the first one to actually be on the show with him as a guest. Yeah. And I thought it was, I kept my runner. I was like, 
I'm going to ask him 50 times, when do we start to drink our own pee? Because he's always talking about... That guy goes pee quick. He, go, he goes pee so quick. He's he like very quick. two so, days in. He's like, I got to so pee on this. We'd be, yeah. we'd be making a lean to or doing whatever we're doing. I'm like, uh, hey, Bear, is now a good time? <laughs> Should we start drinking our own pee? Bear, are you thirsty? He, uh, he wasn't having any of it. He'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, very funny. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to show you here... and. I asked him 50 times. I finally watched the episode. They didn't include one oh, of no. my jokes. That's Bear. not. And like, I you got to like, know where you're at, Bear. Who, who did you invite here? Exactly. I, I watched that show for you to pee. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's outdoor I'm, information And here's the crazy thing. I would have drank my own piss. Oh, you would have really? done it? I would have done it. Wow. Because I'm there. I'm going to do the full yeah, thing. Yeah, you're committed I to I that. But include my jokes so that but I'm please, not. Exactly. I'm not a psychopath drinking my own. Right. Yeah, I'm a fun my guy own drinking but my own. They drink. wouldn't include the. Jo- I don't know what they were thinking. Why do you want to make me come off serious? Yeah. It's so it was, crazy. It was very bizarre. I, but yeah, they're, they're really. My dad was saying, oh, it was just like really simple things. Like if you walked in the house through one door, you had to leave through that same door. It would be bad luck. Oh. So if you came okay. in through the back door, yeah. you had to leave you through the back door. You know what I'm talking door. about? Hi-oh. <laughs> Come on. Boom. <laughs> Couldn't leave it on the table. Boy, I'm I proud of you guys. I, <laughs> I set that one up without yeah, even knowing done. what I was yeah. doing. Come Come stuff. Shoot, yeah. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you brought up the baby pee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. possibility that it cures yeah. acne. We talked yeah. to to Miss Pat about this. I think I talked. Yeah, to Yeah, I wasn't Pat. there. Uh, w- uh, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. Pre David right. episode, right. right? But we talked a, a fair amount with her about this, yes. and she b- genuinely believes it to be true. She she was arguing throughout the episode that I, this was a real um, thing. I went through a period. I remember in high school, played a lot of sports. Believe it or not. Oh, yeah. I know you're Same looking at me bad like... bad acne because of sweat, right? Well, no. Bad athlete's foot. Oh. So I'd pee on my feet in the shower. Oh, no. How'd that go? Worked pretty well. Really? It would cure the, the athlete's foot. Wow. Holy shit. You heard it here first. So, wow. And was that... <laughs> Where where did that come from? That came back. <laughs> where, were you just doing it anyway? No, I, you noticed, you noticed that God, maybe it created the athlete's foot because I was doing it from the beginning. No, I think my mom and I had a discussion and yeah. she was like, I think there's like really good stuff in your pee. Yeah. Supposedly, if you pee on your feet. I love that your mom but, took such a hard <laughs> stance against baby pee carrying acne. She's like, like, that's absurd. You're being silly, Will. Don't call me with this foolishness. Pee on your feet like a man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of makes more sense. The pee and then it washes off. Sure. Whereas the baby pee, yeah. as Miss Pat was talking about, that, that just stayed on your face right. all day long. But baby pee doesn't smell is the thing. Right. That was her point. I'm a father. Right. Uh, Baby pee does smell. It has a scent. Yeah. It what is about not a scent I would it's probably not, walk around. What about the littlest babies? I'm talking, like, walking, talking, no. That's just a person. Sure. But, like, fresh baby? It's still a couple doesn't. months, It baby? is definitely not as pungent. Yeah. Right. But it is going to have a little Yeah, it's got a something. little something to What's it. What's the yeah. taste to it? Buddy. Uh, <laughs> All right, I tried to <laughs> Exquisite. <trap you. laughs> I wish I could tell you. Bear blew it for me. He didn't give me the chance. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give me a chance. It is the most complicated part of the 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 conspiracy theory is the acquisition uh, of the baby pee. Right. Because, because you're not right. ju- we're not just all you if you wanted to cure your acne. I don't even want to talk about it. Sure. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I have no idea where I would go. Yeah. And I am time stamp it. Yeah. And I'm saying I do not know how to acquire. Uh, you don't have a connect. Uh, uh, no, I don't have a baby pee connect. You know who does? The Black Carney community. <laughs> <laughs> there that's your go-to if you need you gotta Man, need a, a, black a, a, a stash of, of, <laughs> of baby pee. of some of the sickest baby pee available come over here <laughs> <laughs> come on just babies meet me, meet me behind the fun house babies here. that are eating corn dogs before they have teeth <laughs> just perfect baby pee <laughs> so you it sounds like are, are not necessarily a believer in this uh conspiracy theory that that baby p could cure your acne i 
look, I felt like it really did help with the athlete's foot. So I'm more prone to, yeah. but I don't know about the application part. Sure. Right? I, so I guess I don't believe in it enough to put it on my face. Well, you. let me ask you this. Would you rather your own pee? <laughs> I think <laughs> that's not a crazy question. No, no, it's a good question. My own pee on my face. Okay, but here's the yeah, situation. Right. <laughs> You're in the shower. Yeah, paint a picture. Yeah. You're in the shower. I cut my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I collect some pee yeah. and I just splash it. Well, you have to yeah, whisper like a, a little like bit a, of a prayer. Like a um <laughs> like an aftershave. Like an aftershave commercial. <laughs> kind of let it and then like you know when you do with the hair conditioner where you let it maybe pull back from the water, let it soak in a minute sure, or sure, two. Sure, sure, sure. Come back and wash your face. Piss so it, you're not, piss and you're not walking around all that, day. That I could, that I could give a try. You would okay. give that a try. I think I would too. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like if I had really bad acne, I would be at the end of my rope. Yeah, and pee would start to feel like a, <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, the, like if you're down bad, a, pee a, a always viable, seems. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. part of the the Solution, suggestion yeah. of even drinking your pee, right, your own pee, is that you already have like immunity to the toxins that you've put out of your body. Is it that? It's your own I think brew. so. Yeah. It's like so, smelling your own farts. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But they're safe for you. Did you guys cover this? What, any idea of the origin? Who, who's the first person to ever think, you know, <laughs> let's take the diaper with the baby pee and let's like, apply it. Uh, listen, the, cre I think it's like the a creepiest penicillin man in town. Yeah, I think it's like a penicillin <laughs> thing. It was an oh, accident. That, oh, oh, that right, worked. right, right. Okay. Like he was okay. doing that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, my pimples yeah. are gone yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, I I don't know that we we found a, <laughs> the origin, the the source. Yeah, of yeah, the, yeah. The theory, right. but okay. it certainly we talked about this with Miss Pat that it became, it has become sort of a more popularized thing than we realized that like it's referred to as urotherapy where people are, in fact, using urine as sort yeah. of a way of curing you know what, ailments of various kinds. You know, my hero therapy is yeah. get some Greek food, take a nap. <laughs> come on. Boom. Yeah, come yeah. on, guys. Right back. We're all out here. Right. There's a lot of good right stuff back. going on in here. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure, you got a lot to be yeah. proud of. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, he always yeah, does know. it like that. You see yeah, how I he know. did that? It, it, that it, it, was, was a snipe. I know. Bro, come on. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. All right. I Thank it. you, Will yeah. Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. We're partners. <laughs> I'm a scoundrel. Gosh, what was, do you want from was me? Was this the podcast where you guys broke up? Broke apart? Whoa. Am I witnessing that? Whoa. I, what if Will Ferrell was I know. The one what if I <laughs> created the riff? <laughs> Buddy, the, the, over, the, over the Euro joke. I hate to tell the you, gyro. you're, you're going to have to guest host quite a bit oh, more. Man, I got to fill <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, because Lexington's going to be <laughs> out of here. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Oh, so I don't like that bit at all. I don't like that bit at all. How's it feel? There's too much power in that How's high five. Feel? Stop it. Don't yeah, do that. We both felt <laughs> it. By the way, we've been planning this. Come on. You don't think we texted this morning? <laughs> when did, when does the hostile the takeover When begin? do we usurp the podcast from Langston? <laughs> now it's going to be my papa told me. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that, why you would add that. But. <laughs> you whiten it up my a little mama, bit. Yeah. You broaden it. My father told me. My, yeah. my sweet it? daddy. Yeah, that is funny. Mama seems black, but Papa seems very yeah. white. I am. I am called Papa. By my kids. Mm. You're a papa. I'm a papa. Wow. Wow. Was so, that a, to your point. A very yeah. white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that a conscious choice where you were like, uh, from now that, on, I am papa? Or no, no, did I, it just happen? I said, children, <laughs> gather around. <laughs> I am papa. The fireplace. You will bow, you will bow before papa. Addressing me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Only refer to me as papa. No, it's a, it's a, my wife's Swedish. It's a, it's a Swedish thing. Mm. So... You have you have mama and papa. Yeah. So the boys just started calling me pop. So even my son, who's about to turn twenty, would be like, "Hey, papa, I have a question." <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny and it sweet. sounds That's silly. So it sounds Euro. silly. Yeah. It's very Euro. Yeah. Do, do you do, you, do your Euro. kids Euro. ever very gyro? <laughs> gyro. <laughs> very gyro. <laughs> do your kids ever feel self conscious about about not, it? Not one bit. Yeah. So it's already ingrained. Wow. That's awesome. And they don't. Because I wondered if they, if because I've seen them refer to me in front of their friends, that uh, would be my and, and I was like, oh, they have no, they're like, like no, the, that's that's Papa, that's my Papa, yeah, my Papa, my Papa, my yeah. Papa made me a sandwich today, <laughs> yeah, oh my, 
my papa. I was talking to my papa. Um, <laughs> Cause I don't know any black papas. No, pops, big, big papa, big papa, big papa. Is, yeah, is the last but that one. was kind of outside. That was right, his right, own right. thing. Yeah, yeah, he was just fucking around. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. which was great. I mean, it helped little yeah. fat kids across the country sure. <laughs> put a name on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Oh, this is what that body type is. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is a guy you could be now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. big right, trailblazer right, right. for us. Right, right, Huge. Right. Oh, if I put on a silk shirt, this could be something. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see Which it Which is crazy because this big guy, silk is not the fabric I'm running to. Sure. I think if I, would, I had a silk shirt uh, yeah. on right now, it'd be a mess. Would, what, yeah. Is it the heat, the 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 trapping of the heat? Yeah, and I just get anxious anyways. So I feel like I would already be anxious because I'm wearing a silk shirt. I would mm. feel exactly the same you way. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd be like, oh, everyone can see everything. I'm, I'm pitting out in my yeah. silk shirt. And then I worry I about my nipples. Good. Yeah. I, I may look good. I may look good for a second. That's the thing. In my I, silk shirt. I think... <laughs> Where are you at in a silk shirt? I, 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 I own zero silk shirts at this point. At this, well, Olivia, bring it in. We actually, oh my god, we actually got it's you. Beautiful. <laughs> you guys got me a whole wardrobe here. You wouldn't think orange silk would be for you. No, but... I'm wearing that for sure. You look like Mackay Pfeiffer. <laughs> In the Boy Is Mine video, remember we had a yeah, hard no, silk I, on? I it together. My, yeah. my, my boys can pull off a silk shirt. Mm -hmm. Really? They're really into fashion. But my, my oldest son, he, he was wearing a silk shirt for a, a music show he was doing. He looked great. He was a, it was a very Harry Styles kind of look. Uh, man, God bless it. But I'm like, wow. I very much envy. Do you have any? Silk, he has a silk, silk shirt. You have a silk he shirt. He wore it in New York. I, I'm a really? silk shirt kind of guy. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest I, with I you. see it. Yeah, I was okay. pissed. It looked cool. Yeah. I was wearing a Tita Marie t-shirt. <laughs> like a fucking asshole. <laughs> it's very hard doing live shows with you, yeah. figuring out what to wear. I, well, I, I'm By just the way, trying my best. Aren't the, the silk shirt? The live shows are the best. Oh, thank right? you. Oh, yeah, they're I they're. Mean, I we we've been I having a good time. <laughs> have but the most it, fun when we get in front the most, of the, the is audience. Is it just like that? Because we did the last eight of the Ron Burgundy podcast right. live. Yeah, yeah. It just is the best. It's everything you want. It's like stand up, except I yeah. don't know what I'm gonna say, which is a lot more fun. Yeah, we yeah we, right the the tightrope yeah kind of act of it all and playing off the audience and, and also then, yeah, yeah. I, and I'm sure you feel this. We we do so much of this in a vacuum where right. we're like, I he thinks it's funny, I think it's funny. But, we're having but, fun together, but but, but we then don't to fucking get that know. response back yeah. and have oh no, people have been listening. Yeah, this is, this they're, is amazing. they're into it. Yeah. yeah, they're they're wearing our bad clothes and they're. <laughs> <laughs> They're chiming in on our weird riffs that we and don't even remember. Half the crowd is in silk shirts. That's yeah. an homage. <laughs> Which, yeah, to little Langston. mamas, start yeah. coming out in silk. <laughs> if, if, you, if you're brave enough, put on Please, some silk. Do do you, treat yourself. Treat yourself to yeah. some silk. If you're wearing silk, are you wearing extra deodorant? I'm, I'm putting it on thick to begin yeah. with. I'm not... I'm yeah. not needing to double down. I, I like <laughs> now in my head, I'm like, there's nothing worse than a smelly guy in silk. Oh no, that's a nightmare. <laughs> that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. See, look at that. Yeah, thing. it sounds terrible. That's right? as close to a trash bag as a human can be. <laughs> Is a a smelly man in silk? You are a walking. <laughs> Hefty bag. I remember having a <laughs> costume and something where the wardrobe person had, and I, I can proudly say, luckily, I don't suffer from too much body odor. Mm, in okay. fact, I've been blessed with very little. You right. smell good. But yeah. or you smell you smell neutral, which neutral, is, which is want. yeah. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ, David. That's a conspiracy right there. <laughs> that was that was, up. that was like a that was like a ghost. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> like it. I'm so <laughs> Let's just keep our hands off the trigger. Oh man. Uh, but I remember there was some sort of special sweater and it stunk mm. at the mm. end of the day. And I was like, this is I swear, this is not me. Yeah. And it was uh and it was the material in the sweater. Anyway. No, I get I, it. Maybe it was silk. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know what I don't know what my point is. You know those classic but, silk sweaters that everybody's wearing. I had some corduroy <laughs> pants that got stinky on me. Oh, I didn't wear them for a season, and then I put them back on. And I didn't know I was on the way to a show, and I didn't know I was in the Uber. Like, why do I 
smells so bad. Dog. And then I Googled <laughs> smelly corduroy, and that's the thing. <laughs> also a Detroit rapper. Oh, smelly corduroy. Smelly corduroy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A very famous Detroit rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For Detroit, he has it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, got, he's, 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 he's not leaving he, the scene. He's huge in Detroit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They give him free conies. <laughs> what do you think about Stevie Wonder being blind? Ooh, that's good. This we we good. had a, a conversation with Felonious Monk, who's yeah. a very funny comedian, and the question was, he suggests and, and hold, maintains that Stevie Wonder is, in fact, not blind. Where are you with this? Well, isn't it? Isn't it true that he actually can see shapes? He has a little bit of sight? I don't know. That, or did he lose that? I thought he was blackout. Yeah, I think I think by by PR pitches, yes. he is a completely okay. he don't see the sun. Okay. I nothing. thought I'd heard that it had some limited like mm, like, right. like I don't know, shapes or like not yeah. not Fuzzies. shapes, but it's fuzzy. Yeah, or, not even that much, but maybe but anyway. But would that help anything? Uh, you're right. That almost I don't know. just seems but terrible. But all of the, I mean, I had never gone down that that rabbit hole before. Sure. I'd never even questioned. But then the catching of the mics, the Shaq story. Come on. The, 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 there's a lot. Yeah. But, I mean, okay, this is, there's I'm There's really a lot. Glad. The Boy George in the headlock. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> story. Wait, 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 right? wait, 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 yeah, wait, 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 Right? Something like that? I, if I'm remembering correctly, he... <laughs> Uh, this is exciting. He's yes. had a few. <laughs> yeah, boy George, boy George tells the story of Stevie Wonder once coming up behind him. At a party. At a party and playfully choking him, uh, having no direction, no confirmation, nobody in aid. He just, like, puts him in. He's like, you fucking b- b- boy George. Come on, come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you uh, about that. Your song from The Quiet Game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got you. Which I watched. Yeah, which, which I, I watched. Which I, what, what a, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Something crazy happened. Um, but I don't. I had never heard the mountain of evidence. There's. It's a. It's. It's a little. Listen, I have a couple blind stories. Okay. Yeah. One. Wait. Are you legally blind? I see shapes, baby. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's a that's a good name for either a book or an album. Yeah. I see shapes, baby. I see shapes, baby. <laughs> okay, sorry. Continue. Uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is, blind people can do a lot. Yeah. If so, I did shows in Seattle this weekend. Highly developed other senses. This is what happened. Yeah. I did. Thank you to all the little mamas for coming out to the shows this weekend. By the way, so fun. There's a blind guy standing. Okay. You, Full you're disclosure. At, you're at he the... wasn't in the. It was the show's over. Yep. I said, line up, I'll take pictures with you. Yeah. You're backstage or wherever. I'm out in the, oh, I'm out. In, People can okay. touch me. I'm yeah. easy. I ain't hard to find. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm taking pictures. <laughs> Blind guy over here, but no glasses. So he's looking at me, not standing in line, got a cane. So I'm like, oh shit, this guy's blind. But are, and are the eyes <laughs> unfocused? <laughs> no. Going, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're yeah. saying. Going every which way? Okay. Regular, degular, bro. Okay. Locked wow. In. Just, yeah. just looking in my general direction. So, so like this. Hello, I'm blind. <laughs> but staring. <laughs> but there's a line over here. Hi. <laughs> yes, I'm legally uh, blind. Uh, first off, I'm blind. First off, just second so off, you know. Big fan. I'm blind. <laughs> big fan. Bro. But, okay, here's where it gets crazy. Yeah. I see him. Oh, hey, do you want to take a picture? He says, yeah, let's get a picture. Comes up, takes that iPhone, bing, bong, boom, holds it out. And then he's like, oh, it's probably better if you take it. Uh, But he set the whole iPhone up. Wow. And there was no, I look, there's no auditory cues. And I think that man was blind. So just from sense memory of someone, but he... How does he know how to set it up in the first place? What I'm, I'm saying, I'd is, be honest. What I'm if, saying, truthfully, is yeah. that they're a very tricky folk. <laughs> <laughs> and they, <laughs> tricky folk. And that, you gotta and, keep your eye on them. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that, I think that there's a lot going on. I, I believe that he's blind. I think he's just he's aware. I think that the boy George thing, he smelled someone. He was like. I smell a 24 year old woman. It must be Boy George. <laughs> it must be Boy George. <laughs> and he <laughs> gave him a hat. Because he, he's huh. not running up on Quincy Jones doing that. There, well, there, because he can smell the old spice. There whatever. is a very iconic photo now. And we talked about this on the podcast of Stevie Wonder taking a picture of Michael Jackson 
in like Michael Jackson is posing in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. And Stevie Wonder is behind the camera looking through the viewfinder, taking a but, photo of Michael Jackson. But as a joke. I that's don't a hilarious know. joke. I would do that. I, I, I would do, if it's I was hard, married, it's not you're right. It's I just hard. To, <laughs> <laughs> I just think when people reach a certain level of celebrity, it's hard to tell when they're doing a bit because everybody around them is so serious. Yeah. So everyone around is like watching this happen and not laughing. He did do the hilarious commercial parody on SNL. Mm. Or was that? Eddie Murphy mm-hmm. as don't Steve. don't mix them yeah. up. Now. That's right. <laughs> Will, it was Eddie. You got in. <laughs> Where the new canon and these the photos yeah. are everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's. I think. Okay. Listen. I would love it. You know, I love a long term ruse. I sure. would love it if, if he was, if could see. Stevie just says one day at the Grammys. <laughs> guess what, everyone? I've been fucking with you this whole time. <laughs> gotcha! And he takes them off and the eyes are straight. They're perfect. Whoa! <laughs> They're not glassy anymore. Yeah. They're just fucking was... gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> the clouds have gone. I was at an event where Stevie Wonder was the musical act mm. at this fundraising charity thing. And it took a while for like they needed to set up the stage. Mm-hmm. So people were in pain. It was at the end of the night. So like people start leaving dirt while he's playing. That's Whoa. fucked up though. And I'm doing a bit with a, a buddy like, this is Steve. Why are you, you're leaving during Stevie Wonder. If if he is sighted, he'd, he played it really str- There was no <sighs> okay. part of him that was like, Damn. Hey, you assholes! Yeah. What the We're, fuck? Yeah, <laughs> you rich assholes! Like I'm, I'm, I'm playing here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's what leads so, me to believe that I believe. Uh, that's why I believe he can't see. Because yeah, if he could see. He'd have an ego about that. Oh, he'd may, be pissed. May I present? He he might even say, "How's everyone? Do-? I feel like some of you are leaving. Like he'd even like my spidey senses are telling me, like right. people, please stay in your seat. But he didn't. He didn't. Co- but he didn't I comment. bet. I bet there's a part of him that has to go like. I see you, but I'm but, not going to uh, blow I, my bag by, yeah, by yeah. losing it at these people. I got to play it cool. Be cool, Stevie. Stay calm. What would it take? You guys got to get him on the podcast oh, and just point him. blank. Brother, I'd ask, ask him. Come on. I'd ask. I'd say, are you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> What's under them glasses, yeah. Stevie? Yeah. Tell the truth. Break him down. <laughs> 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 Just throwing I, balls at him from different leave directions. Leave me alone. Put it reverse, Tim. <laughs> I'm blind. How many times do I have to tell you? I put oh him my in God. a headlock. <laughs> boy George him? Yeah. 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 I'm going to boy George so you. So can I present yeah. one more piece of evidence to okay. you guys? So, and this didn't come up on the, the original podcast with Felonius, but there actually was a, a video that I came across pretty recently of a former band member of Stevie Wonder who talks about having watched Stevie Wonder get into a fist fight with another member of the band. Okay. So basically the drummer and Stevie weren't getting along. He keeps telling him he's fucking up the drums, whatever right. it is. The drummer yep. gets pissed and is like, yep. I'm a fuck you up, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> he fully is like, I'm a beat your ass. I fucking hate you, Stevie Wonder. Uh-huh. And, and basically agrees for the, I can't believe he did this, but he agrees to be blindfolded so I that he could was gonna fight say, Stevie Wonder. I was going to do the whoa, bit. Whoa. <laughs> I was going to do the bit. Give me the blindfold. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he, he agrees to fight Stevie Wonder blindfolded. And I swear to God, the person describing this video yeah. says that, that Stevie Wonder beats the shit <laughs> out of this drummer. Like, doesn't even, the in, guy doesn't even get a hit. In a way that, that really lends itself to he, being able to. Yeah. Listen, he said the dude couldn't so even Stevie move. So Stevie can handle himself. He can handle but himself. But allow me, allow me to kind of. Yeah, please. It's dark. He hits him. It yeah. makes contact. The sound comes. I think it's an echolocation. Situation. You think this uh, is I, okay? I think he's I like be- that. I think he's beating his ass via sonar. I don't know and the technology. He's going to be super sensitive to movement. Exactly. You think this is daredevil? Exactly. Level That's what I think is happening. Strategy. Because <laughs> I, I, I'll say it. I'm an emotional fighter. As a okay. child, I've gotten into fights where my eyes were mostly closed. 
Mm. Just like kind of crying and like and yeah, 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 <laughs> head down swinging. Yeah, 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 and done okay. But but what I'll say is that when he describes the fight, he doesn't describe it as like emotional swinging, and it, he says that Stevie, Stevie like hit him with a backs two-piece. up and goes bah! And oh then no! The dude will, like try to move in okay. and, and like square up, and he'll be like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> and like he says Stevie, he never even laid a finger on Stevie Wonder. That's crazy. It's either a miracle or he's fucking with Maybe, us. maybe Stevie knows how to work the speed bag. Maybe that's <laughs> like that's... his, his, uh, when he's on tour, that's his workout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he just knows. <laughs> and maybe a guy's going two more steps. Two yeah. More, yeah. Maybe like <laughs> work the body. One of his handlers, like two more steps. There you go. <laughs> Stevie, pop, other pop, way. And he knows how to respond. Yeah. <laughs> Tur- turn around, big man. You got right. it. If... Does Stevie have an earwig? Mm. Like, like you know, wow! Like the wow. assistant mm. to the president, who's like tells you right before you're meeting someone that like, right? You met them in Nebraska two years ago. Yeah. That's the mayor of this town. <laughs> like someone's in it, his ear. Yeah, That's, going. Stevie, there we go, Boy George. Two o'clock. <laughs> Come on. Put him in if a you, headlock. It'd be pretty funny if you put him in a headlock. <laughs> I bet he's never had that never happen had to him. That done. Oh yeah, that's funny. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up, boy George? Guess who? <laughs> that is Stevie like, lost his earwig. Yeah. We gotta find it. It fell out. I like, but that's right? exciting. Someone, yeah, that's someone always great. on a little microphone talking to Stevie. Who I love is that. it? Who, who was? Yeah. Who was in Stevie's ear though? Yeah, time? that's yeah. a great. That's question. what we got. I bet you it was Barry Gordy. Mm. But now. Also, too, when you guys were breaking it down, the theory was that was the dispute that, yes, he's talented, but he became he's more exceptional because he was, quote unquote, blind. Otherwise, if he didn't have that gimmick, he'd just be run of the mill musician. I I firmly believe that Stevie Wonder is a exceptional talent with eyes no or question. without them. No question. He, right. he is a top right. 10 objectively. Yes. There's no question. Right. I will say that I think the sale of Stevie Wonder is a lot easier if he's a little blind boy uh, than out if he's a Saginaw, perfectly Saginaw, sighted Saginaw, Michigan. Boy. From out yeah. of Saginaw, yeah. Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. That's where Draymond's from. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, okay. there's not a lot of okay. heroes coming from Saginaw at this point. And, and I wonder he's what make Draymond it. thinks. <laughs> I think Draymond's the reason he's blind. I thought Draymond was the guy he thought. <laughs> Draymond kicked the shit out of that little boy. Yeah, yeah. Draymond's like, I don't give a shit. I beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> I punch first. I ask questions later. <laughs> and then I retire if they threaten to punish me for it. Oh, man. <laughs> who's, the, who's, the guy, who's the guy in the Warriors that Draymond punched out? Jordan Poole. Jordan yeah. Poole. Yeah. And no one... There's a little, no, it's not really a conspiracy, but no one really jumped to the defense of Jordan Poole, right? No, yeah, I think no he, one really spoke up on that guy's behalf. That's, I think they just said, Draymond, you, you got to be so, better. Right. Okay, yeah. but the inside scoop is that guy was bugging the shit out of everyone. Yeah. And, and uh, Draymond laid him out, and everyone was like, thanks, man. We shut, we Could, shut, like, because yeah. no one was like, Hey, hey, George. Like, That's sorry about cool. that. That's not right, cool. Right. We fucking love Jordan. Every, cool. Everyone was like, hey, things happen like yeah, that, that on the crazy. team. <laughs> right. Also, Draymond seems like he's, if he's on your side, he's yeah. on your side. Of course. He's dirty to them, but like to do it in house did feel a little out Something, of character for him. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. So, I, yeah. Steph Curry being in the earwig of Draymond Green <laughs> punching Jordan Poole in the Whoa. face feels... Whoa, Steph, Steph Curry's the Draymond puppet master? He's the like, whisper. Knock Whoa. Him Knock him the fuck out. Also, <laughs> just to go with our podcast, <laughs> yeah. that actually ties into the light-skinned rage. Mm. That it's not Draymond's dark skin tendencies. Sure. It's actually Steph Curry's light skin tendencies. Will, your thoughts? I don't, so, <laughs> so, wait. <laughs> Educate me here. The light skin rage. There, there is a theory. The term is beige rage. Beige, beige, beige rage. rage. Okay. There is a theory that light skin people, uh, because of, of the sort of like... Uh, not being fully accepted in yes. the community, have, have more a, of a, a... Also, there's something genetically with bright eyes. <laughs> 
have a active rage <laughs> brewing inside of us that causes us to have very uh, sort of big and short, reactions. Short fuses. Short fuses, yeah. okay. exactly. Huh. Let me tell you, Will, it but, holds up. <laughs> oh, it, it holds up? Sure. Do I shake him sometimes? I do. I do. But he gets out of line and somebody's got to do it. See? Come on. <laughs> wow. But st- <laughs> Yeah. No, I can see it. Yeah, I can now see you, it. Now I can you, see it building up. This, yeah. Well, you're you're a you're a sports man. Yeah. Uh, this this feels apt. Right. I, I think as a question, the NBA is rigged. Come on. Was a conversation we've we've had a fair amount of times. It on happens. The podcast. It comes up a lot. Yeah. How how huh. much of a believer are you in? And it can be sports in general, well, NBA specific, whatever you prefer. NBA. I mean, to say it's rigged. Well, there was the. Uh, the ref situation, right? With the yeah. one guy who yes. was shaving, who got caught yeah, betting yeah, yeah. on his own game and was figured out how to make enough kind of innocuous calls that would add up to. Because he's just covering spreads. He's just right? covering spreads. That's so right. it's like, okay, so it wasn't yeah, like yeah. losing or winning a game. It's a couple charges you don't call. So that stuff seems real easy mm-hmm. to. But basketball specifically, too. I don't that, think you can yeah. do it in other sports in the same way. But. That would lend itself to you want the major market teams to always win. Right. And as a Nuggets fan. So Denver, it doesn't it doesn't lead to the conspiracy. Because sure. trust that me, man, rigged. nobody wants us to win. No. And I, nobody I'm actively likes, rooting against you guys. Oh, f- hey, fuck you. <laughs> with your with your uh, your gyro in the center there. Your <laughs> euro. That guy's f- made a gyro. <laughs> That guy, he's pure. He, that's pure he has gyro. genetic material. That's, <laughs> he's 30% oh, yeah. gyro. gyro. No, meat. he's gone off the road for sure. <laughs> he's the most awkward moving human being ever. It but, looks but, so bad, but it works. Conspiracy. Does he fake that? The way he runs? Oh, you think it's Just all to set someone up and then he blows by you? Well, here's the thing. I, maybe that. And he but, also maintains that he doesn't work out at all. He's very red at the end of games. <laughs> Do you, you mean, like his, could be the altitude. Could be the altitude. <laughs> he lives there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, right. That's true. That's true. Sorry. He's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. I think he just is like sometimes. Sometimes just it's not graceful to be a winner. I think it's just he developed an ugly game because mm-hmm. it's ugly. It's not a pretty shot necessarily yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. I think it's just he just has that pure. Eastern Bloc willpower. Well, I think it's the beauty of learning something in isolation, right? Like, right. he fucking learned to play basketball without any of the influence of, like, social without expectations. Without even a basket. Or yeah. a yeah. He's, yeah. Just, he's just shooting he's them just in a horse's shoot, mouth. Dude. Shooting a, a, a pumpkin into a, into a well or something, you know? Yeah. Have to go crawl down, get the pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta God, learn so accurate. I don't want to. You gotta learn to make a cantaloupe bounce off a of cobblestone. Yeah, yeah. And it's like yeah, you're gonna All get these pretty angles. good. You're gonna get good with angles. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he just never. He didn't have to look at Sean Kemp as like an influence of what cool oh, looks Sean like. Sean Kemp, man, you know what I mean? He what a beast! So cool. He was so cool. The yeah. Rain Man. Oh, yeah. Come on, so many kids. We Eleven. Were, I we, think twelve. We were, I was. We were at a. A hotel in Santa Monica rewriting Elf. Mm. Myself, Adam McKay, and John Favreau. Yeah. And we would, we'd walk by this room and there's all these pizza boxes sta- stacked up in front of the room. The door opens. I love this story already. It's Sean Kemp. <laughs> yes. Stepping yes! out. Well, I'm like, I'm like, hey, Sean, what's up? Like, hey, what's up? <laughs> He that's this is when he was trying to make a comeback with the Clippers. Yeah, and he was eating, and he was, he was eating <laughs> pizza boxes outside the room. <laughs> Needless to say, Sean did not make the Clippers. I don't <sighs> think. I don't think. But he was in training camp. Yeah, trying to make. But we were just laughing like, God, I love Sean Camp. That's beautiful. He's Yo. got the big pizza boxes out yeah. front. He's not. He's not. How many? At, how many you think he could put down in one? He's seven feet there, tall. There were two larges, two large empty boxes. That's Damn, great. Sean. But I don't know how many consecutive nights that was, but. Oh, that was yeah. two hours tops. That was, he yeah. knocked those out early, especially because he was working out. 
Yeah. He was, he was at training camp. So he, What's yeah. the reason yeah. why NBA players always get like fat and weird looking is because they're, they're burning 5,000 calories a day. And then when you shut that down. Yeah. Right. You're just eating exactly the way that you ate when you. <laughs> without <laughs> any. Yeah. Without any exercise. That's what happened to me after high school football. Sure. Yeah. I remember when you were lean and. <laughs> lean and mean and then. <laughs> Come on. Look out. I was, I was like, I looked like Reggie White. <laughs> in 05. <laughs> You are you are a Lakers fan. You're a yeah. very you're a very active that, Lakers fan. You know, that would be the only in the so I grew up in with eighties basketball. Sure. So those, so those LA, Lakers yeah. Celtics battles. Mm-hmm. That's the only that's where maybe the conspiracy is true because I could never understand how the Lakers or either team could lose by twenty mm-hmm. and then the next night turn it right back around. But they always say, Oh, they make great adjustments. What are adjustments? Yeah, I don't really know. Yeah. I don't know either. To be completely honest, right? Like, what is what is an adjustment? Oh, we see that they were trying to run this play, and now we're gonna we're gonna double team this play. I don't Turns know. Out, uh, plays are I don't know. Like seven yeah. plays. Turns right. out a bunch of our guys were on cocaine last yeah. night, and, <laughs> and now they're not, and they're playing way better. So we put them to bed, hey fellas, <laughs> fellas. Let's try to cut back on the cocaine, <laughs> and uh, let's make a quick adjustment with yeah. less cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> But that always, and I'm like, oh, do they just want this to go seven games? Yeah. Does the league want that to go? Yeah. But even even thinking about like that very infamous trade that never happened with Chris Paul yes. coming to the Lakers. Shut down. That David by the, Stern actively shut down. That doesn't feel like a, a rigging to you com- of sorts? Complaining from Dan Gilbert, mm-hmm. right? The, the owner of the yes. cast. Yeah. That feels pretty active. Yeah. I don't trust David Stern. Well, well, he's he's gone. He's gone. Baby. He's no, I'm gone. saying, I, like, that's just as a, <laughs> oh, as an idea. Oh, as yeah, an entity. Like, I don't any of his dealings yeah. within the NBA. I don't. I feel if there was ever an era that it was rigged, you feel like the David Stern era yeah. feels most active. Here's what I know is rigged for sure. Yeah, the players' exuberance towards the in season tournament what are we mm, doing that is so fake <laughs> that shit that is, is so like <laughs> this is exciting we, hey we're, we're all about champions championships it doesn't matter if it's middle of the season or end of the season yeah that Don't was, the, that was the most hodgepodge no I, I i just know the league was like lebron please can you just say how exciting this is yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's like okay i'll do my part yeah i'll say something i'll say something yeah but then all of a sudden kevin Durant is like this is so exciting and he hadn't said anything. And you don't prior. even talk like that, Kevin exactly. Durant. No, he's never You've said that. You've never one. once, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> expressed and he said excitement. it with this tone. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's rigged. Yeah, that, that yeah. right there was rigged. I think so for sure. I agree with that. So partial rigged. Pa- I think partial we can say a par- partial, partial rig. rigging for I, sure. I certainly think, if nothing else, we can agree that the incentives that they create via the money that these yeah. players can earn sort of rigs the system right. naturally. Like, they they play hard in the in-season tournament because there's $500,000 promised to them if they win the game. Also, too, I love the Lakers bench players praising LeBron for playing hard <laughs> so that they could get their 500K. They won 500000 But AD and those guys weren't, like, why don't you guys give your 500K and split it up with the bench yeah, players? Yeah, yeah, you're real, like... Like, if that, that would really... That would be, yeah, that would gesture. be a selfless act. But then they're like, I mean, I got to give it up to LeBron. He played so hard. <laughs> he gave full effort so we could win. It was pretty cool of him so that we could win. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe just give over. You don't need that money. Yeah. Right. Turns out you're a billionaire. You, you, maybe probably... that's, maybe that's easy for me to say. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's easy for me to say too. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> give it all to you. Whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever, maybe shit. give it to two po- funny podcasts. Yeah, maybe two guys. You know, <laughs> right? One's a father. The other one could be. And could maybe be. they have any best day best. now. He could be a father. Yeah, and we have stuff we're trying to get in on. You know what I mean? <laughs> trying to start a black soap company like every other African person. <laughs> I'm trying to rig my own sports leagues. <laughs> that would be amazing. Should we, I feel like we, we should maybe head to the game. Should we? Yeah, it's up to you. What do you think? Let's, How do you feel, Will Ferrell? Let's, uh, let's head to the game. Yeah, let's, let's, okay. let's fucking let's do, do the it. game. Yeah. You, you okay. want to do the first one? Okay. 
You, we got to introduce. Yeah, them. I didn't okay. do that. I didn't yeah. do that. Let me just. I love that you were just going to yeah, launch. I got it. Let me just line up the queue. I'm going I'm I'm to clear it out. Get the I'm queue going. Just, you got it. I look good. That is. You I look smell good. good. I yes. feel good. And you sing good. And make love good. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What are you going to argue with him about? No, no. He was wearing a neckerchief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that from? What was from that was some... a James Brown interview when he's real coked up. Yeah, oh it's, it's maybe God. his most drugged out interview, okay. uh, historically oh. speaking. Wow. And, he just starts uh, singing a lot. Living amazing. in America. <laughs> the, the, the lady asked him, James, because like, he had just, just been a, arrested. It's a straight up interview, like a, like a well, he talk show interview or no, something? No, it's no, like no. the news. Oh, okay. He had just been arrested <laughs> the news. Uh, and like was getting out of jail. And they, yeah. they say, James, what landed you here? And he says, living in America. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's pretty great. <laughs> uh, and he keeps interrupting her with more of his more, own songs yeah, and yeah. telling her he makes love good. Fantastic. It's, it's great. Yeah, he's wearing like rose colored sunglasses. It's a while. Amazing. Yeah. Well, I'll send you the link. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our game, yeah, quid pro quo ho, right? Quid pro quo, quo ho, ho. Yep. yeah, H E A U X. If you were worried, no, no, no. Okay, <laughs> yeah, man, Will Ferrell's a writer. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is based. H A. Yeah, 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 yeah. The French ho, right? The classy version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The royal ho. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, this is uh, it's a this for that. Quit, quit, quit. quit. You got it. We quit. believe in you. Thanks, quit. man. I really need that. <laughs> it's a this for that game. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Just okay. porky pig your way out of it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be my partner, dog. Huh? <laughs> Listen, I, I, you, porky pig your way out of here <laughs> fucking in front of Will Ferrell god damn it Langston sorry sorry man motherfucker uh, <laughs> obviously we present you an idea that could be great right but then there's a caveat much okay. like there is a lot of times being a black man and or woman or anything in America yeah you ready yeah okay. I, th I think yeah. I don't have a choice. The, the, yeah, I don't gonna, have a choice. You're going to get it. You'll yeah. follow okay. along great. You, okay. you got All right. it. Okay. So, you get another back-to-back -back championship for your beloved Los Angeles Lakers. Mm. Mm. But, for the rest of your life, you are permanently matched with LeBron James' haircut. So, you have to have a LeBron. You got to exactly Whatever he's doing. Like LeBron. So if it if it starts to go again, you gotta go again. Yeah. If it comes back even stronger after he retires, which is what we think. Yeah, we think he's gonna go to Turkey and get it fixed. In, yeah, uh, for uh, when sure. When it's all done, but okay. But for that's sure. that's neither here nor oh, there. Right, right, right. But forever, you currently have to wear your hair the way LeBron James's hair is for yeah. for ever. Even ever. if he goes yeah. like Basquiat later. Yeah. So if he goes dreads, you go dreads. He does that I'm weird Jay Z I'm shit. I'm not that vain a person. Mm. That having been said, I'm gonna keep my hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, Lakers. <laughs> La yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Good championships. Two cha they yard. already got 17. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, <laughs> it's just like he could be doing anything with that shit. Yeah. By the way, Clippers are never gonna win one. No, I don't no. think so. Cursed. No. Yeah. yeah. Cursed. No. It's not. Okay. Sorry. I, That's sidebar. I, I think they worse than the Red Sox. Worse. Worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, and I'm a big fan, but I think you can't uh, bet on Paul George being the You're a big South. Paul George fan? I, the podcast is pretty cool, man. He He's actually... Oh, uh, really? Oh, yeah, huh. he, he's pretty vulnerable on it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay. okay. As a yeah. man... But playoff P, I don't. I don't no, I, I don't believe in him. Into that, <laughs> I like his. That's why they call me Playoff P. <laughs> hey, Paul George, <laughs> I respect you as a man, <laughs> but I don't think you have what it takes. Listen, Th that's my heckle. You I seem like a thing. good yeah. guy. <laughs> Full respect as a man. <laughs> However. I don't think you can close the deal. <laughs> There's a lot of factors going through all the playoffs. I think that you could start strong. I just don't think you're a finisher. And it has nothing to do with how you were raised. But it's just personal. <laughs> the podcast is great. 
You show vulnerability. Yeah. You're very you you talk about things that other NBA players are scared to talk about. But boy, do you not know how to finish. On the court, different story. That's not it. <laughs> Shout out to Paul George. Yeah. Playoff P. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna you gotta keep your no, uh, I yeah. I think that's a safe bet. I I'm I too would keep my hair. There's no way I would commit to whatever LeBron has going on. Because we um, all have good hair is the thing. Yeah. And yeah. You know, yeah, no, you yeah. don't have to prove no. it. Yeah, okay, no, we you. look it's at that. Gorgeous. What's the term? A quaff? I like that you're just like, damn, they caught me. <laughs> I, I, I remember saying to someone, if I ever start losing my hair and I'm still being hired as an actor and I have to yeah. do talk show appearances, I'm going to start wearing a really bad toupee <laughs> yeah. and then deny that anything's wrong. That's, That's so funny. And don't ask me about my hair. <laughs> yeah. He'll, yeah. he'll lose his shit. Yeah. Don't ask me about my hair. Don't. Anyway, don't what was it like it to work on this movie? Oh, it's great. Thank you. Listen, Sandra yeah. Bullock is lovely. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> She's um, America's sweetheart for a reason. For, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Langston? Would you ever juice if you started? I mean, we. I think this comes up a lot. Would you, if you was going, would you... Uh... I think a former me was fully committed to, if it starts to go, I'm getting rid of it, I'll yeah. commit. It, but now, seeing what they can do... With, it can it's do pretty, good stuff. It's Uncanny. pretty it's pr- it's crazy. It's pretty, pretty solid. Tra- I watched do. a, a, a yeah. video that Tracy McGrady posted on his own page Tracy McGrady. where he got his hair restored. And, and, and T-Mac, T-Mac is it, back? T-Mac, T-Mac is back. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking good, man. And he had lost it. It wow. was gone. That shit was, yeah. that shit was out of there. And he was holding on tight. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. he wasn't doing it cool. He didn't shave it. He was it like... It is funny, though, but you can just shave your head bald and you're and you're good to go. You're but, fine. But, 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 yeah, some people... When want, an old yeah. man has great hair, though, like, you ever yeah. see Jalen Rose and you're like, he made yeah. a deal with the devil for that. <laughs> <laughs> he had to put somebody under. I you ever... Um, I you love ever, that that's what you're thinking as you're watching Jalen Rose <laughs> commentate. Damn, that hair. Damn. I think wow. it Deal every with time. the devil. Yeah. yeah. Every, every Have time. you ever seen or, uh, or watched Jalen Rose, though, a clip of Jalen Rose in a black barbershop? Because no. barbers oh. do not like him one bit. They, I've heard be, he said, like, because you, you have to spend $200. You can't cut it. Well, no, it's no. because they claim my barber and certainly the barbers I've been near when the, yeah. when we watch clips of Jalen Rose, they claim that it is all a ruse, that this is like there's something called Beijing, which oh, is they, like yeah, a darkening juicy. spray okay. to sort of yeah. give the illusion yep. of a perfect yep. hairline. They're saying it's all a lie. And in fact, he doesn't have the perfect hair we think he does. I mean, Boy. I, I juiced one time. I was on a television show. Yeah. And I had not gotten a lineup before i got there that was my fault and they beijing that, that me. was on you that was on me yeah okay i should have known yeah yep. i was getting on a plane i was yep. going yeah, on television yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. they beijing me and the, to, it not looked to, so good oh it did wow. it looked so good i thought you were gonna say to, to no disastrous man. results no, no, it looked, no it looked great it was fucking awesome yeah as long as nobody splashes you with water you're you're <laughs> yeah, gorgeous yeah it was pretty amazing it was like surgical huh. yeah. The yeah, yeah 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 all right. You would you do it? Yeah. Would you? Would I Beijing? No. Would you go with LeBron? For the, no. For, I don't it, think let's so. say it's Denver championships, but you you got to go with LeBron's haircut. Are you it, from Denver? Originally? Yeah, I oh, live in okay. Denver now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course you love your Nuggets. Yeah, mile high till I die. Three hundred three, baby. Yeah. Uh, I three hundred three. Who's he talking to? No one. These says cameras that. aren't even no on. No one says three hundred three, baby. <laughs> no, right? no. Okay. I was trying to impress you. Uh, <laughs> Three, uh, three, baby. <laughs> God, if I can remember that, I just want to start saying that. Yeah, yeah. dude, dude, yeah. you got okay. the hand thing too, because it's three, it's three. three. Oh yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, three baby. Yeah, three, oh three, baby. Man, this is okay. big. Nuggets Nation. I need some ticks. I need some ticks. That's pretty huge for Come you. On. Uh, Come on. Who else is gonna do it? Somebody uh, tell the Joker. God, I fucking hate that name. Okay. I would not do it. I would not. I, I just, I don't. I down the. Right now, it's an okay bet because uh-huh. me and LeBron are similar. Mm-hmm. I just think he's pro- <laughs> he's going to pull up with a curl fade in 15 years. 
I'm gonna be like a father. I just he's gonna be doing stuff I don't want to. No, do. he's gonna make some wild choices. I, I you can't trust a bald man to get his hair back and be reasonable. No, you know he has I mean? he has nothing to lose yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, right, 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 right. He's gonna get a jerry curl for no reason. Yeah, he's gonna do that thing where he braids his beard. He's gonna get odd. I and hate it's that. Like, come on, bro. You That's the it's inevitable. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay. I, can't, I can't do it. Okay, next, yeah. next. Quid pro quo. Huh? This yeah. is a good one. Okay. Uh, you fully learn to break dance. Right. So much so that you you can form those cool circles at parties where everybody's standing yep. around yep. rooting and for you. And not right. just with black, white, white people, black people. Like, yeah. go I, well. Right. Go yeah. well. I'm getting full respect. Everybody loves Everyone it. Everyone loves it. Mm-hmm. They're like, that's, okay. that's fucking going. They're like, break dancing. They're like, he's legit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But you never get to eat dessert again. Ever. Oh, not even a question. Yeah. Breakdance. You're taking break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I don't need, I, I, I don't need, I mean, I, I, I like a good sweet, I like desserts, yeah. but, but that's an easy sacrifice. Wow. To really just. Forever. And go, yeah. oh, let me take a, let me take a turn. Yeah. In the breakdance circle. <laughs> Which is a classic might, thing that breakdancers yeah. say. Yeah. Can I, can I go? <laughs> I got next. And then to do my thing. To do it. And have people go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And it's forever. Yeah. I didn't leave any crumbs. <laughs> I ate it all up. Right? <laughs> Press a button. Yeah. 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 A come button. on. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Shit. No. No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. no. No. I'm sorry. Something's going on. There we go. I <laughs> that was. <laughs> I, oh, God, I got it. I don't give a fuck who say what, blood. On crap. There we go. There we go. Because I would love to be able to, like, set up, like, be like a street busker mm. and, like, wait. That guy looks like Will Ferrell. And I put down my, my <laughs> piece of cardboard. Yeah. yeah. And I do my thing. And then I pass the hat. Yeah. Yeah. And that's then big. I and, and they then never I, address And I you never are address Will and then I walk away. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. That is, man, when you say it like that, it really is not worth it. It's like a, that's, yeah, you there, don't need a donut yeah. after that. Yeah. No, you just, you're riding high. Yeah. You were yeah. popping locking in the subway. That's fucking tight. Yeah. Would you be, do you think you would be a spins guy or do you think you would be like a pop lock guy? But uh, you can well, do it all. Well, you celebrate well, I was the whole say, catalog. Don't I, I have it all in my arsenal? Yeah. But like, what do you think you would lean towards? Yeah, what's your, you what's your like, closer? Would you be a multi-purpose? <laughs> 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 well, you know, when you really want to wow everybody, what's your big closer? <laughs> you could also crump. No, or no, is that not it? I, yeah, you can crump. Why not? Okay. I would. I I think my closer. I would pop and lock for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. God, I used to love. Rerun from what's happening. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I try to do I I could get I could get the one two hop. I think you made a deal with the devil. You're and, doing uh, it. <laughs> um I a lot of popping along it, but I would close with a lot of spinning. Mm. And of course the classic. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you, okay. gotta, you gotta you gotta spin right at yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have you ever seen uh that video of J- of Jadakiss break dancing? Yeah. No. I love it. Jadakiss, who yeah. I, I assume you know, uh, is not someone we make uh, synonymous with breakdancing. Right. Uh, yeah. He yeah. he apparently is actually huh. a pretty good. He can do, yeah. He can do like spins and shit. He's okay. aging in reverse. He also is yeah. doing a ton right. of pull-ups on the street. He's going yeah. good. He's yeah. going he, good. He, like in, he can do the uh, the rings. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the iron Olympic cross. Rings. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Gymnastic he ring. can yeah, put yeah, himself yeah. upside down in the rings and shit. I saw him doing Jeez. it in a in a in a in a trench coat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, he I does it. I, I don't think I could do a pull up right now. Call you gotta Jada. talk to I, What is? Yeah, what's the secret? I, I, I don't. He owns know. a couple juice bars. I know that, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and he I, also I think works out always in Tim's. So maybe yeah. it's, that's part of the training. I'm not sure. Training. Yeah. <laughs> Jada kisses juice bars. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Uh, you know yeah, what? I, I, I gotta. I gotta. I, I'd love to visit those. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Yeah. Both of those locations. <laughs> the, the Bronx and the other <laughs> part of the Bronx. The Bronx. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I took an Uber. To check out the, the, the I hear bar. this is the finest this is the juice, juice. <laughs> <laughs> the one train can provide. <laughs> Did you ever break dance? 
Uh, no, I used to. I used to pop. Yeah, I, I never... have noticed because every time we get drunk and what, remember when we went to that club, that Dominican club. Yeah, sure. You have a really good. You have the one move that you do that I could tell is your like. It's very light skin, but it looks cool. When <laughs> Thanks, you do man. It. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I was a pretty good dancer, and then uh, time continued and now like you know like just uh bodies people move their bodies differently than was cool when we were younger that is the, that that's so true yeah the base level of just dancing has yeah. gotten much more sophisticated i think so than yeah when I think that's I was important. Just in junior though. high, yeah, and you could just kind of move. Now it just it's like, used to be like these kids do all stay this stuff. on beat. Yeah, and you right, were right, right. Pretty good you're dancer. Good. Yep. And now it's like, yo, if you can't it's... memorize twenty steps, you're you're trash. But and I don't. I do think, and allow me to get on my. I do think that's <laughs> what's going to make America great again, mm. because I think, and I've said this on here before. I think Big Trump a, guy, by the way. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> no I, I knew that when I walked me, in. Me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should see his yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me cook here. I think America started to go to shit when white people stopped dancing. Uh, I think yeah, that we've okay. all felt the effects of okay. white people. There's no more sock hops. Mm. They're not doing... They used to do the same dances as us. Yeah. And then at some point... Huh. Swing. Like, because, like, in the 50s or the 60s, there wasn't this white guys can't dance. That's, like, a newer... Mm. That's a, When did that happen? That's You fucked it Do up. Do you think the the whole... Because uh, I notice kids... My my son sometimes do it. Not that much. But their friend learning the one TikTok... That, like, you see a kid... Oh, with yeah. Like, yeah. The almost, rerun, basically. Almost like Tourette's over in the corner <laughs> going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. And you're like, what are the? Oh, I'm. Uh, oh, it's the TikTok dance yeah. that everyone's trying to learn. They're all memorizing. Do you thing. think that has made it to where if you can't do that perfectly, don't dance at all because you don't want to look like a fool? Oh, I actually maybe. like the pressure, like the failure, like the the kind it's of so uh, public. Yeah, the epic fail culture that these kids now they communicate through, like, oh, look at this video of someone. You know, getting their nuts smashed and yeah, 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 yeah whatever. <laughs> only like the, it's only all, the they, kids do they that. They bond through <laughs> like sharing. Um, oh, they! I hate this person because they're bad at that. Yeah. Me too. I hate them too. We're right, friends. Right, right. So now this this like super sophisticated <laughs> dude, like how I add to yeah. it, like these high level TikTok dances. And if you can't get it down, you better not try because you, you don't want to look stupid. Funny. So they're that were leading to people just not dancing in general. And but that's you, a problem. You know what's yeah. funny is that they they train you to do it on TikTok, right? right. That like TikTok, there are TikToks step dedicated to showing you yeah. how to do it step by step. Right. So I actually think to your point, it's becoming a little more universal than it was before. Whereas like if you didn't know how to if you did if you weren't connected enough to the black community to learn how to dougie, right. you just couldn't dougie yeah. or you even wouldn't touch it. Yeah. Take it back even further imagine you're like a cool dancing guy and then michael J jackson comes out with the moonwalk and you're like i have to kill myself yeah, yeah there's yeah. no way i'm, I'm ever not gonna, what am i gonna I do i'm gonna figure out <laughs> what the fuck did he just <laughs> did I he remember, spend three times <laughs> i remember as a kid watching that live the moonwalk oh and it wow. the motown it, that must have been a game changer it was <laughs> I must have looked like a dog cocking its head. I, I literally was like, what's happening? What's happening? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. That what, man's what made of magic. What, and, and I was like, oh, that, that's something that has never been done. Or yeah. will it ever? I, at that moment, I was like, oh, no one will ever learn how to do that. Sure. But Meanwhile, some dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some dude was in his mom's basement. Some little boy named Usher Raymond <laughs> yeah. was, he was like, like a I'm going to do it sideways. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was a whole war room with ribbons <laughs> connecting pictures yeah. and graphics. Yeah. Connecting silky yeah. shoes and right. wood yeah. floors. Yeah. One just yep. goes to Reagan with a big red question mark. <laughs> <laughs> It's all Reagan's fault. Yeah. He brought the moonwalk in. Okay. You ensure the... <laughs> this, is our, well, this is our big close. Okay. This is, this is the, yeah. this all right. Is the... You ensure the liberation of all black and brown people for forever going forward, but you never get to be a rich white man again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. 
everybody's free. <laughs> Everybody's free. But, but your lifestyle changes quite a bit. But I'm in a two bedroom apartment in yeah. North Hollywood. <laughs> Whoa, you're no not ho. you're not so much Papa anymore. It, Papa, no, yeah. Papa is... no, no, no. You're a papa. <laughs> <laughs> you're just pops. <laughs> you're living across I'm from just that. Pop. Yeah. Not even. Uh, well I mean, yeah, that's a that's a doozy. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. I know what I would pick. <laughs> Go straight. Uh, you keep uh, the money? Yeah, driver. <laughs> uh, driver, pick up some caviar before you. <laughs> I'll build some schools. <laughs> Wait, were you the one that had the ability to make everyone equal, but you decided to keep your Rolls Royce? That was me. That was me. Yeah. yeah. But you don't understand. You've never been in a role. Yeah. <laughs> Nor will you because yeah. I made this decision. Yes. <laughs> now, please take me to my gate guarded community. You're, um, you're smudging the doors. <laughs> well, I mean, I easy. I know it, man. I, you know, I know what you, you got to do what you got. You got to, you got to come on. Man. You got it. You got to say right you got to make yeah. the right choice yeah, sure. and say no. We're gonna yeah. we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we we got to give it all away. Yeah. <laughs> Look how str- yeah. you're struggling <laughs> to even do the hypothetical. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm more thinking about my kids going what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> shit! 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 <laughs> dad did what? Uh, uh, what? Why? We're they're calling, get more they're calling you dad Wait. now. <laughs> dad did what? <laughs> Papa. <laughs> No more LeBrons? <laughs> I got to give all my shoes back? Was it? The they silk. Were, they the silk like, shirts. Was there, was there a middle ground here yeah. at all? <laughs> well, but to but be no, fair, you, I don't you, feel you like ha- gotta... you, Yeah, you have to do the right thing. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And, and, and even and... I joke, I would obviously <laughs> liberate black and brown people forever. Yes. Yeah. Right. Langston? Eh, we'll see. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy's Mike's a monster. Double crossing what us. is what is liberation really? Where, yeah, what, what are we going to be in an egalitarian the, society? That doesn't seem real. Strict definition <laughs> of liberation. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, it's it's a it's on, a man. brave answer. It's yeah. a, it's the right. It's answer. the only answer. Yeah. Uh, Will, this yeah. was so fun. This was awesome. Thank you, guys. you for doing this. Thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me, man. This yeah. was so great. I loved it. Is there? Could you tell the people where they can find? You? I know you don't do social media, but is is there anything cool that you have going on that you want people to know about? Anywhere you're going to be throwing down some cardboard, busting some moves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be at the Third Street Promenade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also be at Universal City Walk. Uh, oh, you got a big drive. Yeah, yeah I got a big drive. <laughs> With my cardboard, mm. uh, <laughs> busting out some moves. I don't know what. I don't know what's happening yeah. for me next. Okay, <laughs> nothing. Man. There was like a move, but now maybe they won't even release it till next year. Okay. Anyway, yeah. You well, mean, keep your eye out. It for... sounds like I'm in a real uh, <laughs> listen downward Will, spiral. Will oh, Ferrell is in a rut. <laughs> 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 it's maybe not going great. <laughs> You're on our black conspiracy theory uh, podcast. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm honored to be here. We, so we, I just want to say, and, and congrats on, like I said, one of our first things we had on the platform. And it's, it's, you totally have this unique voice and it's been a, a, an amazing thing. Thank it's you. It's great this, to watch. This, yeah. this is, it means the world to us that you would and even it's, come uh, And it's bold business. and you guys speak your minds and it's, it's, Man. it's a great, it's, it's an outlet we all need to have and listen to. So that's so nice. I, of you I, to say. I commend you guys. Yeah. Big time. We're really going to fuck it up. After yeah. No, no, I know. Yeah. I know. You hear that? <laughs> I know. You hear that? Every girl who ever left. <laughs> you hear what Will Ferrell just said to me? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> really makes you think. 303. Listen up, 303. This is, this is fake, baby. <laughs> yeah. I can't be touched. Cool guy jokes 87 on the gram. Uh, I got a Fitbit. <laughs> yeah. I just got a Casio. Yeah, Lex has got beats. By the way, Fitbit is very white person, isn't it? I'll, well, be, okay. I'll be honest. Right? 
Check I, this out, though. One of yeah. my greatest shames is yeah. that I wore a Fitbit during my Comedy Central half hour. What are you thinking? Did, did you get called out for that? I called myself oh, out okay. just deeply embarrassed. Because you just I, looked down and were like, what am I doing Because with I was my like Fitbit? committed to getting steps. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm not going to take it but off. You know I'm what? Be walking That's around, something around I, w- here. I would have done the same thing. Yeah. It sucks. It, it it sucks to be guys. I mean, like Langston us. is mixed. You know? <laughs> Your whiteness but kicked in. It kicked in, in that hard. Moment. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. don't you just do it? So I just do it with the with the. With I never the, use, get the steps. Uh, yeah, on I don't. The, I don't do the, the counter thing on the thing. It just. Don't it's do not thing. as accurate as it's the, not as, accurate. as the Fitbit. You get more steps with the Fitbit. You get more you steps do. with the Fitbit. I would rather get. Yeah, he's getting steps right now. Look at him. That counts. That's fucking. That's getting logged, baby. <laughs> oh my god now he's getting thousands <laughs> my sprinter arms <laughs> it just blows up <laughs> too fast too fast disintegrates on my wrist alright we did the whole thing we did it follow us uh, yeah. send your own conspiracies to, to mymamapod at gmail.com buy the merch do the thing that's the whole shebang bye bitch I actually am 1.4% Nigerian African I'm a sister okay <laughs> <laughs>